What's up, guys? Wow, today's actually pretty short. Right? Last week was pretty slim. Well, at least we won't be pressed for time today. Eh, good point. Anyway, oh hi all everyone. Hope you guys are ready to tune in. I'm Rila. I'm Riley. And you're, and you're watching, watching Bulletin, Bulletin Weekly. Weekly. Oh, well, this is unexpected. Looks like Ben Affleck stepped down as the director of the solo Batman flick. Really? But last I heard, he was a pretty great director, right? And he loves Batman. One would think that this is like his dream job. Sure, though I can't understand his reasoning. He basically said that the role is too important to some people for him to divide his attention between performing and directing. It requires the very best performance he can give, so he's gonna focus on that. That's a pretty nice outlook. Yeah, well... What's wrong? Look, as much as I respect the dude for even having that mindset, I'm less concerned with his performance in the moment than I am with how they plan to write the character. He was a disaster in that last movie, no matter how good Benji Boy's acting was. Good acting isn't gonna save a badly written character. And if there's one thing Jeff Johns has proven, it's that he writes a god-awful Batman. But Affleck wrote the script with him, so we'll see. Apparently the delays on the movie have less to do with finding a director, and more to do with them taking their time on the script, which is nice to hear. Who do they have up to direct now, anyway? I'm not sure. Apparently Matt Reeves is on the shortlist, but that's just speculation at this point. The director of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Yeah, you know, I don't really have a dream director for this. As long as it ain't Snyder, I'm good. You really hate Zack Snyder, don't you? He has his moments. I just think a director that ingrained in spectacle is the wrong choice to helm something as subtle as a Batman movie. I'd love it if, for once, we got a Batman movie that really sold the whole detective angle a bit more, instead of the ruthless vigilante part. Like the animated series! Oh, that'd be amazing! Of course it would! Speaking of DC, they recently picked up some new talent. Not a lot to say here, but Javier Fernandez and Jorge Jimenez have signed exclusivity deals with the company. Fernandez is most notable as the artist on the latest Nightwing book. Meanwhile, Jimenez is most known for working on Superman and the upcoming Super Sons. Super Sons? It's a Robin Superboy team-up book. I love the dude's art, so I plan on picking it up. Even if Damian Wayne is still an obnoxious little brat that I just want to punch in the face. Uh... Riley? What? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, from what I can tell, DC's doing a better job of not treating their talent like total crap now, so I think they're finally getting their act together. Here's hoping this relationship works out well for the guys. Ooh, did you think we were done with DC? Yeah, no. But if I may just sweeten this next story a bit, ha! <laughs> Fox has gotta be kicking itself right now! Huh? Okay, so remember the whole Black Lightning thing? Uh, no, actually. Did we ever talk about that? Maybe a long time ago. Whatever, not important. Point is, Fox had been optioning a pilot for a new show based around DC's Black Lightning character, who's basically the adult Static Shock. Different character, but incredibly similar concept. In fairness, Black Lightning did come first by like 20 years, so there's that. And what about that should have Fox kicking themselves? They just dropped the project, and the instant they passed, CW picked it up and ordered a pilot, so you know it'd get added to the DC television universe! God, that's just funny! They screwed themselves on that one! Oh, so that means if they do the show, he'll probably cross over with Flash and Supergirl and the rest? Maybe. At least Flash or Legends of Tomorrow. Seems more up their alley than having him cross over with Arrow, which I can't believe is still running. CW did issue a statement a while ago, though, that there weren't any plans to include any more heroes in the DC TV universe. But that was when this was still being produced for Fox, so we'll see. Now, let's talk games. Having you introduce this segment instead of me just feels wrong somehow. Fire Emblem Heroes is officially out on iOS and Android. But... But what? But it's not really Fire Emblem. At all. It's like they took everything Fire Emblem is and just chucked it out a window. Meaning? No support conversations is a big one. The maps are only as big as your phone screen, so there isn't much room. It leads to a lot of single file combat. There are a bunch of other gameplay things that just don't make sense too. And the story seems to just throw out the characters of pretty much everyone you can recruit. Without spoiling anything, 
There's absolutely no way Marth, Ike, Corinne, or any of these characters would be okay with what they're doing. It doesn't make any sense. Ooh, so it's one of those mobile games, huh? There's a lot more to complain about, really. The paywalls in it are super lame, there aren't any tutorials, and navigating it is a chore. The game has potential, but right now, it's pretty much fails as a tactics game. I'd say the Square Mobile games are a better use of time and money at the moment. The Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts ones. Too bad the Tales of Link one also sucks from what I've been hearing about it. Then again, mobile games aren't really my thing anyway. Japan time! She says right after talking about an incredibly Japanese franchise. Zip it. Just pointing it out. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> My Hero Academia! The anime's returning on March 25th. Dude, seriously? Sweet! I didn't realize it was that close. I've been watching that All Might vs. Nomu fight over and over, man. It was just that friggin' awesome. <laughs> I can't wait. It was so good. Fight for your dreams, Deku. Yeah, my man, you could be a hero. Also, and this goes without saying, Uraraka is a waifu. But she barely did anything. Waifu! Well, let me guess. This is something to do with the fact that she pukes rainbows, right? No. Although that was super funny. <laughs> and now it's time for North American releases. And comic solicitations. There wasn't a ton, but anime got Bleach Set 2, Magic Knight Ray Earth, Showman Sample, and the Galaxy Railways, a letter from the abandoned planet Ova, among some others. And in manga, there was Alice in Murderland, Kindred Spirits on the Roof, and Persona 3. As for other stuff, the digital releases of Dynasty Warriors Godseekers and Double Dragon both hit the PS4. Digimon World Next Order also came out. That was slim. Right? This was a really skimpy episode, I guess. And you? Oh, I've got plenty. All new X-Men number 1.1 MU. Seriously, Marvel, what's up with this numbering? All new X-Men number 18, Bullseye number one, Champions number five, Deadpool number 26, Deadpool and the Mercs for Money number eight, Hawkeye number three, Monsters Unleashed number two, Moon Knight number 11, Nova number three, Old Man Logan number 17, Slapstick number three, Spider-Man 2099 number 20, Gwenpool number 11. Jeez, Riley. How many Deadpool comics can they run at once? All of them, Rila. All of them. And Unstoppable Wasp, number two. A less from DC, though. Aquaman, Batman, Green Arrow, Green Lanterns, and Superman, number 16s. Cyborg, number nine. DC Comics Bombshells, number 22. Wow, I didn't think this was still a thing. Anyway, Nightwing and Justice League, number 14s. Harley Quinn, number 13. And no, I'm not buying it for you. Hmm. <laughs> Finishing off with Death of Hawkman number five, Flintstones number eight, and Midnighter and Apollo number five. And that's our show, guys. Yeesh, and with so much time to spare. Seriously, right? It's weird though. I feel like something's oddly missing somehow. I know what you mean. I feel strangely empty, but I can't put my finger on why. Oh wait! That's it! We, we made, made it through, through the whole, whole episode without, without arguing! arguing. I don't believe it! Riley, I think we leveled up! Right? Achievement unlocked! And yet... Yeah... <sighs> it's somehow just not the same. I know what you mean. This just feels wrong, man. But we're done now, so... Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, if you guys liked what you saw, give our like button a zap. R right. Uh, don't forget to share with your friends, and you can subscribe by hitting that left button. And I guess support us on Patreon by hitting that right button. This has been Bulletin Weekly, I think. Um, I'm Rila. I'm Riley, and as always, stay, stay tuned! tuned.